the accountability. Okay? So, going back to uh, what I told to Ma'am Grace, if ever you will be having red results in either RTA Sir, uh, and then your yeah, member so, is the one causing that failure, how would you react to that failure? So we have to review and oh guys what happened. So this is the our result. So it's very shameful and alarming to us. So we have to review. What will be your temperature? Uh, check. <laughs> Normal, but uh, <laughs> okay. Because this is this is what I observe for our managers and supervisors in in any other informal visits. Okay, when let's say when the area manager or operation manager or training team or whoever comes in the rest, and then when we pointed out uh, uh, a deviation, then the manager is getting upset, and then. Oh. Uh, blaming the the team member. So let's say the manager no, will be telling, uh, I trained him, I trained her. Okay, I gave him many chances. Uh, I already informed my area manager to transfer him. Then the level of accountability is very low. Down. Okay. Sir. Uh, oh. sir. No. To blame. No need to blame. Mistake for one is the mistakes for all. Okay, I like it. Mistake of, yeah. of one so is mistake This is the... So yeah. how about if there's mistake, mistake of the one, manager? This is the mistake for all. Yeah, it, I, I'm my mistake, so I accept all their <laughs> comments about me. So I'm not getting angry. So I'm happy for that because me and myself, okay. I think I, I thought that I'm I, I, I the right way. I, I'm perfect, but it's not. So... Okay. Uh, I love to um, accept all the comments that we have, and sometimes also start asking. So, did I, I? What is the mistakes that I've done? And we have to review all. I, I I get to my team, so we have to sit the times to review everything. What is our opportunity? So, yeah. Okay. And we have to follow up, and this one. So, no more angry, no more pointing out to the people. So, it's blaming goes wins. Once you blame the the person. You heard something, blah, 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 that, yeah, you go zero. So everybody is venting, and it's uh, caravan. So we okay. have to get together, make a meeting, and <laughs> make the right way. Okay. Uh, so, this one. Oh, yes, so Mr. Imran. Maintain that teamwork. Okay, yes, Mr. Imran. Actually, sir, any audit, if we have uh, some mistake, we have to follow up this one. We have to coach our team about that one and on the side what is our uh, what we are doing done we have to follow up that one also because if we are going to focus only why do we lose our points and what is our mistake and next time if we are not following up the other things maybe me, uh, stop my team or me even myself we are going to miss the something something yeah. what we are good so that's great always we have to follow up all, 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 I mean, overall. So that means everything. it's the, the follow-up uh, thing, okay? Yes, yes, Mr. James. The topic I'm doing. Uh, this is what you say. We have to. What Mr. Imran said is like we have to follow up and correct ourselves. Also, what are the deviations, and uh, inform our staffs also. That these are the deviation we should uh, improve ourselves or correct it, and make sure that we follow up also with the staff that is not going to happen again, and not to get angry. That's for definitely okay. anybody. <laughs> okay. So it is good for us only to be improved. Mm -hmm. There is nothing to get angry. The one team That's after good. all. No. That's also. In team, okay. the teamwork, the team make level. Sure teamwork. Nothing there is there is if somebody comes and tells me get get wrong. Angry? There's nothing there to get angry. Was that okay. Imran? There is any sure? reason not to get angry. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So uh yes ma'am yes ma'am uh, Cindy. Uh sir to add to all 
uh, actually, everything is okay. I mean, your, your answer, it's okay. But the lack of us, sir, regarding being accountable, it's not giving a warning to all the staff. Yeah. That's why it's all continuous, all the mistake happening in our restaurant. Because if it's happened two times, you need to warn them at first. Okay? If this happen again second times, I will not be uh, tolerate anymore and I'll give you a warning letter. That's the lack of us. You know? Of all the managers I noticed, sir, that's the lack of us. That's the... Agree on that. We pamper them too much. Like... Agree. We, 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 should, we should not do that. You know? How to, how, to, how to teach them to be accountable? It's when they made once... Don't tolerate it. Give them an advice that next time it happens again, all of you, I'll give a warning letter. It's because you never learned the lesson. So every mistake, we need to learn a lesson from it. So we take it seriously. Because this is like the, if, like I, I always tell to every restaurant I work, sir, that there is, this is your image. You need to take care of it. Because if your restaurant is named their list, like you're in the red, red alert, like, you have a red uh, result in the QC or anything, it's, a, it's in your face also it's there. Because when they ask you where you work, I work in Shrimpy Corain. Oh, really? And then they will find out that I know the history of that restaurant. So every history of the restaurants, there's always see that who is the people there? Who work on these people? These people are all great. That's what I teach them that in every situation, in the restaurant, what we need is to share every mistakes and to learn all the lessons. That's it. Thank you, Ma'am Sandy. I agree on everything you have said. Okay? Thank you. Thank you, sir. So, like what I'm saying, in order for you to be uh, successful on this uh, level of accountability to manage performance, the steps are very simple. Okay? Yes, Mr. Anthony, what is the S in the simple? Cancel. Example. Example. In simple. In simple. Not example. Simple. Simple is a set, a set expectation. Expectation. Invite commitment. Now, wait, wait, wait. M for major progress. Wait, wait, wait. wait. P for private wait, wait. feedback. Wait, wait. L for link to consequences. Mr. Anthony, you're hearing me. E for evaluate effectiveness. Sir Anthony, leave something for us. You're not hearing me. You're not hearing. I understand. Okay? Uh, because I asked only the, the S. Okay? One by one, we will discuss. Okay? So, in the... In the... Uh, in the simple... You can see on the screen. Okay. So setting expectations. So like what Mam Sandy want, what like what Mam Cindy is telling, for all these attributes of the action, the simple, okay, the simple system. Here we fail on the linking to consequences. Okay, because. We are, like what Mam Cindy is telling, we are pampering our uh, staff. They committed mistakes, we forgive. How many times you will forgive? Okay, and then, and all the time you are telling, okay, uh, letter of warning, letter of warning. And I never seen letter of warning of that employee to HR. Okay, so this is most of the time uh, uh, we, we failed in linking to consequences. Okay, but before we go to this, so I'm just uh, making it clear on a step by step. Okay, so setting expectations. In setting expectations, the success of any organizations comes down to one thing, how well it organizes its members to focus on and work toward the same purpose. Okay. The employees need to know what is expected of them before they can be held accountable for anything. The more clearly the expectations and goals are set up front, the less time will be wasted later clarifying or worse, arguing about and what was really 
expected. Okay. Uh, did you hear me well? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, yes, sir. We can hear. Thanks to that. Setting expectations. See, if we have restaurant manager, we have assistant manager, and then we have two supervisors or one supervisor. So it means we have we are three who has to guide our team. The same. We have to set clear expectations, and the expectation in the opening ship will be the same expectation in the closing ship. It has to be one color or one system of the uh, the manager and supervisors because there are some locations the most hated is the restaurant manager there are some locations the most hated is the supervisor or the assistant how you will be able to figure out why the restaurant manager is being hated yes mr uh, dumbar <laughs> Sir, because uh, of his action taken to the employee, maybe uh, like mm -hmm. uh, the how he the manager will react to the the, the performance done by the employee. Like uh, whenever they have mistake, if the uh, manager is the strict one, mm -hmm. then this person will be the hated one. If the supervisor is the strict one, this person will be the hated one. The another one will be the uh, the favorite one. Yeah. <laughs> so. Yes, true. Okay. Because see, if the restaurant manager, if the restaurant manager is the one only being strict in the location, because the assistant manager and supervisors wants to be close with the team member, then that will be the start of the failure of your performance. Okay, so we have to set clear expectations. You can never expect one thing for your team member if you did not deliver it clearly. So you have to set clear expectations. If you want to have a green zone for any audits, let's say for food safety and for RTA, so you have to set clear expectations for them. Okay. And then let's say if you want to achieve sales budget, so it's the same thing, clear expectations. So your expectation will be delivered by your assistant and your supervisors down to your uh, team members. But if one will be lenient and one will be too tough, then there will be uh, recurring issues against performance. So it's either one will be successful and the other one will be a failure. Okay, so that's the, the common thing uh, we are experiencing in the restaurant. Okay, so you have to check out if you are having an assistant and supervisor supporting you might be they are selling you in accommodation may might be they are selling you in uh, in in the bus or in the waiting area before they make duty uh, you know my manager is very bad okay uh, he's very tough. Uh, he's always late uh, he's always uh, coming only on duty clocking in and clocking out then that will not be uh, a valid uh, reason for the manager or, or the team member to, to behave properly according to your expectations. So the second one is, the I is inviting commitment. So just because your employees know what to do doesn't mean they will do it. After goals and expectations are set, employees need to commit to achieving them. Employees are more likely to do this when they understand two things, how the goals will benefit them personally and how the goals will help move the organization forward. Once this connection is made, they are more likely to buy into the goals and actually welcome you holding them accountable for the results so you uh, when you are setting expectations you have to invite your team to commit for whatever expectations you're setting for that team and you have to inform what is the benefit of having uh, that uh, to follow 
okay, as your uh, set of expectations. So meaning to say, there must be an inviting commitment because as an, as an employee, you will, you will not be comfortable working if you are forcibly letting to comply for a certain thing. Are you agreeing on that? Okay. Yes, so, sir. Yes, sir. Meaning to say, yes, if I will force you to, to follow this, uh, this uh, task or to, to complete this task, the result is either be uh, not so good. Because as a manager or as the definition for management is to get things done through people willingly. So when we say willingly, I'm very much willing to perform. I'm very happy to, to perform, okay? But if I've been forced, so it means I will just fill the eight hours, okay? Uh, uh, 9.00, I will clock in. And then 5.59, okay? I'm starting to, or let's say 5.45, everyone is busy preparing for themselves to go for a clock out at 6 p.m. Okay, uh, might be they will be starting to go for restroom 5:55 or 5:45, 15 minutes before I clock out, and then finish readying and preparing myself to go out. So because it is only uh, uh, let's say just to complete the eight hours. So we managers and supervisors of the shift. We have big responsibility to make our team uh, work happily. And they are really uh, motivated to execute the task. So you have to first set expectations. The second thing is inviting your team to commit, okay? You have to find a way on how your team will commit in this uh, task or expectations that you want to set for your team. Okay, so then the third thing is measure progress. So information is needed to hold your employees accountable, measure their ongoing performance and gauge whether or not they meet the goals and expectations to which they had previously committed. Goals are only measurable when they are quantified. Measure the results and compare them to the employee's goals to discover the gaps that require further attention. Okay, so let's say how you measure progress of your team. wants to speak how you may oh yes mr james uh, if they are doing it in the uh, the what we told them we explained or the standard wise if they're doing it you can measure them like they are doing it correctly or not or do they need some other site like shortcut for like you tell them the correct way of standard of towing uh, they will put it in the running water so you can measure that, ah, this is person, you cannot, like, um, this is how we measure them, whether he's improving in his work or he's disapproving. Okay. So let's say in, in, uh, in performance of your uh, team on that day, so you are monitoring if they are complying to standards. Understand. Okay. So let's say yeah. one month pass, two months, three months, four months, five months, okay? So at least a minimum two quarters, how you will measure their progress? Um, there are some stagnant stuff maybe, but still too, if they don't improve, then we need to do stick some other action. Have you remembered yes. the documents that was asked December during my vacation we call that ppu okay which up to now we are having 
uh, is still incomplete, 90%. Okay, so it's still having 10%. And then January, February, March, April. And then another PPU will be asked on June. Okay, because see, performance or the periodic performance update, this is one of the best tools for you to be able to bring up the performance uh, rating of your team to be either improved or to maintain or never had to be in declining performance if you are doing it rightly. Okay, so on the next session, so for those who are not having hard copy or soft copy of the PPU forms, IDP, and then the training track record, uh, you can simply request it on my email, send the ma a mail request for me, then I'll forward to you. But all the, all the documents that I'm sending to you personally shouldn't be shared to your mail as well. Okay, so that's the reason. You are strictly to share any document that I'm sending to you. So this is for you only. That's why I'm sending it since you are the one who requested for it. So it is not uh, an open buffet for you to share the documents that I'm sharing with you. Okay, so you have to measure the progress. Either, let's say if he is a new team member, you have training track record. Because now you're setting expectations for your team. Take for example, for the new employee. So in order for him to perform, you need to train first. And you need to document the training. Okay? Not, I think never, yeah. And not... Uh, and, and not expect that they are that they will be performing very well, but you never uh, had a chance to train them. So that's why we are requiring you to complete the training track record for every one. There's a skills assessment that needs to be done. After that, completing the probations or even the post probation period, so let's say a minimum of six months, then now you can start giving them the PPU or the, perfor of the periodic performance update. Then the other document is the IDP, which is the Individual Development Plan, okay? So in this regard, like what Mom Cindy is telling, this is 99% of the managers failing to do. That's why there's an inconsistency on, on the results that you are having in locations. Uh, when we speak of the sales, when we speak of the PNL, when we speak of the uh, RTA or the food safety compliance and then the uh, customer service experience because of the missing L. You are not linking all your actions to consequences. Okay? Yes, you are setting expectations. You are inviting them to be committed. And then you are measuring progress, but there are some managers are very generous. Okay, they are giving rating four, minimum four, and the maximum five. And why you are giving them rating uh, four and five? Because the managers doesn't want the employees to be hated by their managers. So they were too generous on that. And then in the needy situations we're in, you need to correct the employee. Now, the talk of the assistant and the talk of the supervisors will be very invalid because the restaurant manager is telling me that I'm so great. But the assistant is talking now about the performance. It will not be uh, validated by the, uh, by the employee because the RM gave him rating five. Then now the assistant manager and the supervisor is telling you are only three in my eyes or two in my eyes. So which, who, is, who is the superior than the three? The restaurant manager is superior. So who, whom this team member will always worship? The restaurant manager. So this is totally wrong, okay? That's why I'm telling for those restaurant managers and even area managers, when they are giving you rating four and five, I'm telling to 
the restaurant manager and the area managers. Ah, you really wanted to get rid of training department. Why? Because you're giving them high rating. So there will be no job for us to develop your employees because they are all excellent performers. Okay? <laughs> so this is one thing that uh, we really need to, uh, to, to pay attention. Okay? So in the linking, linking, the feedback, this is from every day, like what Mr. James is telling. So there's no reason for you to be available eight hours in the shift and you never had a chance to talk to your team member, whatever he's doing in the restaurant. Let's say when you are in any other station, in any other workstation, take for example, they are preparing uh, sandwiches. So now you are in sandwich station. You have to talk, okay? So you have to provide uh, feedback. Uh, feedback won't solve problems by itself, but it will open the door for problem solving discussions and follow up actions. The employees need feedback to do a good job and improve in areas where performance is falling short of expectations. Most of the time, giving objective behavioral feedback is all it takes. Setting expectations followed by quality feedback is the backbone of holding someone accountable for results. Okay, so in providing feedback, let's say how you are gonna give feedback, Mr. Salim, to an employee who's every day in the whole week not following standards. So how you will deliver your feedback to that team member. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yeah, must we talk with staff nicely and teach everything? Will you shout? Huh? Will you shout? You're angry. Hello? Will you shout? No, not a uh, sort sir. Must be talk nicely and slowly. But and you're smiling. angry. <laughs> Some angry inside only heart. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Mr. Kamal. Transfer it. That's good. Okay. Yes, Mr. Kamal. Mr. How you will address 